Hi everyone, so in the previous video we have covered the basic APIs. I just did the cleanup for user controller. I mean we have the same set of APIs get user, create user, set user, remove user and we have these services where we are doing user report.find, user report.save, user report.find1 and find1 and remove right. Now uh, in my database I already have a table created but once your project bootstrap you will not have a tables in the database right so for that you have to write sqlize migration type orm migrations here we are using type orm so we will be writing type orm migrations so there are different ways of doing it so you can also do type orm database sync so what it will do is this command will look into your entities like you i have created these two entities right customer and user so it will create the database tables for you when you do type orm cli schema sync this is the utility we are already using right so you just start the container and, and do npm run db sync it will actually create the cut both the tables for us you can also create the migrations and then you can run the migrations like migration generate command is here it is same as we write in the sqlize type orm in any other technology we write migrations we run the migrations so that the tables can be created altered addition of new column removing of new column column making some particular column unique index all these things happens with the help of uh, database migrations okay so for type orm you need to have a type orm config that you should always remember this type orm config and we are using dot env module to actually load all the process environment variables for this type orm config like username password you can hard code them but it's not the right way here we have this env.example file in this en we have specified all the required things db type user password host put db type and we are just reading all these things from the process environment variable right so i have already created these tables customer and user but in your case you will not be having these tables so what you need to do is i already have my containers running you can just just install this docker plugin go to this node.js uh, container here we can run all these commands npm run db uh, sync if we have everything proper then it should be able to run that db sync what it is doing is it is actually running this container db sync so npm run type rm cli it is actually doing schema sync schema sync does it looks at your entities folder all the entity folder locations are specified in the ORM config you can see here I have kept my entities I don't have migration but the migration directory is here right so it will look into SRC database entity whatever the entity we have and it will try to create them customer entity and user entity right once you have them you can actually access these APIs I already have my server up and running you can see the logs for the node.js here we have running and here my user APIs right you can see that here also how we are running the APIs okay uh, these are the four user APIs we have user customer ID or user get put post instead of customer ID we can make it as a user ID So it can be simple user ID and and in the user param DTO we are expecting that this user ID should not be empty it should be number or string whatever you want you can define that okay now we have these set of APIs and we can hit them from the postman and we can get the data you can see this schema sync runs successfully right the tables are already there if you see but if you drop the tables then it will be able to create these tables again with the help of this now if you just see we should be seeing uh, this customer and user table right now if you wanted to change something in this database tables like I wanted to introduce one more column here and then I wanted to run the schema sync then you can run this again 
here I added an address so to apply this change what you can do is you can run this schema sync again so it will just look at what change you have made in the schema and it will try to sync your entity schema with actual tables okay this is actually powerful feature provided by typo rm otherwise you can actually write the migrations and then run the migration so that whatever the change you have done that should be able to be applied okay now our node service also running take some time here we can actually test our abis i will just show curl 3000 is the port and the users it our service is still running it's not started so once it is started you can hit the postman and you can test all these apis uh, get user update user remove user list of all the users uh, from the postman or anything okay so we were looking at the schema sync in one of your terminal i think this is not the one yeah this is the one which is still in progress i mean this is little slow but this is how uh, we are doing it so you can see the elder table here it is done elder table user it has added an address and it has added a course and now in the table structure we should be able to find it here let me just see the user table and you can see the new set of columns added right here i can see email here i can see address okay so this is all guys uh, in the next set of videos i already have some videos created so i will merge them that is also talking about uh, type orm mysql and nest a uh, full end to end application about the blogging post and user authentication so thanks everyone and please like share and subscribe my channel if you want something to be uh, created as a playlist then just add add that in the user comment thanks bye bye